Hi, I'm Yovana from Atlassian. I want to show you how to use memory with RoboDev CLI. Memory in RoboDev CLI refers to persistent context-aware nodes or knowledge that the CLI can reference across sessions and commands. It's a way to store information, instructions, or context that you want the CLI to remember and use to improve its responses and automation. Think of it as giving the CLI a knowledge base that it can consult whenever you interact with it. Memory should be stored in the agents.md file. If you don't have a memory file yet, run. This will create the current directory's memory file. If you store that file inside the RoboDev folder, this is then your own private memory that persists across all projects and sessions. If you store that file in the current repo project directory, like it is right now, this is shared with your team and anyone with access to the repo can read right to this memory. However, if you want that file to be private to you, but scoped to a specific project, Still keep it in the repo project directory, but call it agents.local.md. I want to tell RoboDev CLI to store a specific JIRA board to the memory so that in the future, I can just ask RoboDev CLI to implement a ticket, giving it just the ticket ID. Now we can just ask RoboDev CLI to work on a ticket by simply giving it the ticket ID. You can also simply edit the file yourself and add all of these instructions to the memory file manually. Why is this so powerful? The CLI can provide more accurate, personalized, and context-aware responses. Shared memory helps teams stay aligned and reduces onboarding friction. And there's no need to repeat yourself. Once you store it, you can use it everywhere.